In this video, I'm going to take you through how you can download and then re-upload a file to OneDrive. So for this particular instance, if you have a portfolio file and you'd like to download that, you can then edit it offline and then upload it again afterwards. So to do that, so access uh, Office 365 or OneDrive using your username at ljmudac.uk followed by your password and this will give you access to this area. You can then come into OneDrive and you will see your files and folders there. If you navigate the file that you'd like to download, so for instance I have a file, you can right click it there, so right click and this brings up the menu options and there's various options to share being able to copy a link to give to somebody but on this occasion click download this will now save a copy to your computer and for most PCs like a typical Windows PC it will save this to the downloads folder so I can actually see using this browser uh, the file by clicking the menu option and choosing show in folder this will then show me where the file is located on the PC and um, this will be useful if you're in work for instance so in the downloads folder here I've got the file I can now open this and edit it so I can enter text to the document make some changes uh, and then click save Once I've saved it, I can close it down again, knowing that it's in my downloads folder here. I can come back to OneDrive. And as you can see, this file is selected. But to upload a file, if I actually click off by left clicking the white space, it deselects the file and it gives me the menu. So from this menu, I can click upload and file. Now I will navigate to where the file is saved, so I've got it in the downloads folder, I can click on the file name and open it. Now as soon as I do this you'll see on the right hand side there is a message and it's saying they've not uploaded the file because there's already a file with that name. So if you know you're uploading the most recent one that you've just edited, you can simply click replace. You'll then see that it's been uploaded and you'll see that the date and that it's been modified and fired has been changed. Using this method should, should keep the version history. So for instance, if you had a version in the past you wanted to go back to, if I right click the document, click on version history, it shows me previous versions of that file. And so by doing it this way, you should keep the versions of your file available as well, should you ever need to revert back. 